Imagine if your students actually enjoyed taking statistics. Could that really happen? Yes. If students actually generate their own data, the data analysis becomes more meaningful and they are more engaged with the class as a result. Welcome to StatLab Online. StatLab Online consists of 12 classic experiments for introductory statistics that allow students to collect and statistically assess their own data in a fun and engaging way. Here's how it works. I'm going to log into StatLab Online using my username and password. Let's assume that this week you're covering the t-test in your class. So I go to the labs menu and choose the lab that will generate data for a t-test. This is the Judging Faces lab. After selecting the lab, I land on a screen with a brief description of the lab. From here, I choose Start Lab and wait for a pop-up screen to appear. This screen gives me instructions for completing the lab. For this lab, my task is to rate the face that I see in terms of likability. Let's get started. As the face pops up, I use a rating scale to submit my response. Hmm, this person looks likable to me, so I move the arrow to likable and then move to the next picture. This person seems less likable to me, so I move the arrow to the left. This process continues on through 48 faces to be sure that I have ample data. Once I complete the lab, a results page will appear. Here your students will find an explanation of how this exercise is a good illustration of a t-test. The two groups that I compared in the lab were young faces and old faces and based on an assessment of the faces, which is shown here as data, I will answer the questions provided in the lab. All the labs in StatLab Online operate on the same premise. The student is expected to react to, assess or rate something which produces their data that relates to a statistical assignment. To quote a student who has tested StatLab Online, the labs are interesting and more involved than doing calculations. They show the relationships between experiments and the resulting statistical data, and they help to give meaning to the statistics. StatLab records the data and the completion of the question so that you can see which students are using it. From the instructor side, there's some brief setup needed to create a class. First, click on the Instructor tab on the menu. You will then need to go to Need to set up an account. Then you land on a page of instructions that will prompt you to enter a password that SAGE has given you. A pop-up screen will appear for you to fill out. On this screen you'll enter a group ID and group password that you'll later provide to your students so that they can join your class group. Once all the information is filled out, you click apply and your class will be set up. Once the class is set up, you will then have the option to view the instructions you'll provide to your students. Once your students start to work in StatLab Online, you can log in at any time to check on their progress. You simply use your login and then choose check data. A screen pops up that allows you to access information for all of the labs. For each lab, you have the option to see a grade sheet, check the lab completion dates, see class data, and much more. StatLab Online is the perfect way to engage your students in the study of statistics. Don't just have your students learn statistics, have them do statistics.